Monday the 7th of May and the camping site by Shoulder Lake and our personal guard dogs are here protecting the tent and the bikes a little bit of sleep though so this is Solder Lake doesn't actually look like what we saw on Google whether that's because we were in the wrong place on Solder Lake or whether because of all the rain yesterday has uh, made the the seabed a little bit dirty usually it should be completely white sandy beach here and blue swimming pool water but it's not like that here no, so I'm not sure so we're back in peaceful surroundings long time ago since we've actually been somewhere so we're really quiet but uh, yeah, it's nice and quiet here we said our breakfast on the carpet yeah yeah. But now I think the best beaches were down the other end when we cycled past those yesterday and didn't stay. So now I think we're going to just carry on and go to the next one. Yeah. So, and the funny thing is the dog are here again. Well, we've got to protect the dog, yeah. Yeah, protect our dog. <laughs> we've got two dogs protecting the tent and bikes yeah. and one has followed us to the beach. Yeah. So everything is under control here. <laughs> <laughs> so, protect the dog has just been with us on the beach. No, nope, he's following us back to the tent. Now it's stopping. <laughs> the protector dog too is still taking care of the bikes and the tent. So that's good. The other one is following us there. Okay, it's got the first little bit of bike maintenance to do today. Jamie's brake pads have worn out yesterday. So coming down the down the hill towards the lake. And this cable is frayed, so I've got a new a new cable here to put on and new brake shoes and got a bag of brake shoes with me so I'll just change the rubber and then that will be working as good as new again so just do that before we set off yeah definitely trying time to change the brake shoes completely worn down to the steel <laughs> so, get that changed now yeah, that's what it should look like <laughs> much more rubber not like this one just a wafer thin piece of rubber left no Daddy, I'm making my bricks. You can see these. Um, how you actually do it? I've just filmed it. I'm just putting a new brake shoe in. Yeah. So it's. Uh, Where you so click it on? Yeah, you just slide out the rubber, slide a new one in. We've got lots yeah. of those with us, so. Yeah. Not a problem. Not a big problem. Clean it all again, get it back together. Okay, next job is a new brake cable. This one is a little bit frayed. So to put a new one on, we bought one of those. Where did we buy a new cable? We bought a new one at the shop now. Somewhere in Greece, wasn't it, I think? Uh, it was in the in town... Naplia we bought a Naplia. cable. After Mykene. Yeah. Mykene. It was after... We was with the town where there was a bike shop yeah. where we can buy, sh yeah, that thing. Yeah. So let's put one of these in and then we're ready to go, I think. Okay, job done. Two nice new thick brake shoes, new brake cable. Perfect. Let's see all the dogs here on the uh, Dog kennel camping have had a hard night. Seems that the dogs everywhere we've been in the night time they're out patrolling the town and the area just keeping everything under control and in the daytime they're just snoozing. So that was all we had time for here in dog kennel camping. Now we'll uh, bike down the road a little bit. Not too far today, it's already one o'clock so there's another lake we've seen on the map so maybe we can get there. So. 
Okay, duck friends, bye bye. I was on the computer, we actually did 90 kilometers yesterday. So, plus two mountains as well, so that's the most we've done in one day, I suppose, after 2,300 kilometers on the bikes. And fitness starts to start paying off. Okay, just having lunch in the small town of Yesilova, a new tiny town. We've got an authentic Rural Turkish town. Just found some bread here, cost uh, two kroners or 20 pence or something like that. And another loaf for uh, 10 pence, so pretty cheap here. Yeah. Getting onto the really small road soon, so much better. Let's go to the mountains now. More peaceful. All those busy roads we've been on and towards Dinson and after Dinson. Just on this completely empty road now. We've actually blocked off further up the road and we came in again further down through the town. So let's hope that it's not blocked off further down. So far there's no other cars on it, so it's always a bit Suspicious, we'll see. Okay, all the cars on the road. It's the first cars we've seen for 15 minutes, so that's a good sign. <laughs> Also seems to be ignoring it. So, we'll do the same. Officially the quietest road of the tour so far. It's not always a good sign. Too long to get here. I've got to carry on to But really, you can see where the road's blocked up at the other end, but I managed to get through without any problems. Basically had the road to ourselves for the last 40 kilometers. Yeah. It's quite good really. Yeah, it's been a good road. Yeah. Unexpected good road and flat and mm. green landscape. Yeah, yeah. Not what we expected Turkey to be like at all. No, no. Kilometers. Over here, water. 
kæmpe sådan en tur. Køj Morten Lukken Skjulen. Lige tæven her. Nu kan du se en kun besøg i dag. Okay, nu er vi her at Bodo Lake. Can't see because we just made a quick dash to get in the tent because it's raining. <laughs> so. And it started lightning and thundering just as we got here. Yeah. We're now we're drying here now. A few days ago we never could believe we could be cold again. But, uh, yeah, yeah actually can. So good we kept our rain clothes with us because we needed to dig them at the bottom of the bank. So. There we are. We've got food from the supermarket so we can have a nice night in the tent. Yes. Long time ago since yeah. we've done that, so that'd be nice. Yeah. Now we had a wet white wash and we got warm clothes on, so and we set have this up and peanuts there. Yeah. So now we think we're okay. All is well. Okay, let's have a nice night in the tent then. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, it's stopped raining. So here you can see where we're camping now. It's just board or lake. So, Great to actually be back in the nature again. First time we've done that for a long time. It's been too many hotels and towns and big built up areas, but now it's a nice place again. Okay, just had to cut the film short because the sausages were burning. <laughs> but now they seem to be under control again. Waiting for the restaurant to open in there, I can see. Yes. And the bread is all ready, yes. And on the ship we're making film instead of cooking. Yes, I'm finishing now, okay. Five minutes, so the restaurant is open. Yes, I think the sausages are smelling nice now. Mm -hmm. Okay, back to the best restaurant in the world. <laughs> Our tent, I missed that. <laughs> I think the last time we cooked, we just talked about was in Poros. I can't believe that actually. Feels like a long time ago actually. Oh, we've got nice pasta and bread and whatever else we found around about in the town today. Mm, okay. Very good. Actually, mm -hmm. your food are very good today. Mm -hmm. Tastes good. Very good. No, yeah. I look forward to that then. Okay, I'll try mm. it now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, that was the end of today. Now, after a long time, we're actually back nature camping. I found a great spot here. It's actually the first time we've been nature camping in Turkey. But, um, in Turkey you're allowed to camp anywhere. So um, my friends on the tandem recommended this place, so now we're camping here. Luckily the rain has stopped, so we managed to cook some food outside the tent. And, uh, you can actually, I don't think you can see them on the film, but uh, on the other side of the lake I can see some lights twinkling from the other towns over there. Stars in the sky again. So. Yeah, nice, peace and quiet. Great. But, uh, today we only expected to do uh, 30 kilometers because I set off at one o'clock after fixing Jamie's bike a little bit. So, uh, but we actually made it to Border Lake, 60 kilometers. So never expected that. Tomorrow we're going to a place called Egidia, Egidia Lake, and there's a town called Egidia. There's a castle. Oh, I spoke too soon. Now I can hear the call to prayer in the distance <laughs> yeah okay it's never quiet in turkey no matter where you are even out here yeah so we'll go there tomorrow i think it's about 70 kilometers away so we're having another day on the bikes i think tomorrow morning we'll have our breakfast by the lake here if uh, the weather's nice so uh, yeah good day so that was in today we'll be back on the bikes again tomorrow Yeah, even out here in the wilderness, the speakers can find us. It's time for evening prayer, I can hear. <laughs> <laughs>